to know yourself as a woman owning her own business, to celebrate other women and to lift ourselves up and to inspire other women. Like your story is inspiring. You started your own business. I have to say, I've been in a number of business groups, you know, when you go into these, particularly when I was a little bit younger, and I go yeah. into these halls, you know, these big hotel rooms, like banquet halls, and it's like a business networking meeting. And I'm like, yeah. I walk in, I've, I've been in that situation, particularly a few years ago, I, I'd walk into the room and I couldn't see a single woman in there. It was just all men. Yeah. And that used to be, yeah. I was in my like, Air, uh, late 20s that was scary it was like just Jay, yeah. is there any woman here is there any female entrepreneur here and then <laughs> one woman or maybe another woman over the far corner yes. um so yeah um but it has changed a good bit now yeah, you I'm old, but it has um i think in the last 10 years um more and more women are opening their own businesses because there's a lot of you can see a lot of health and fitness um businesses opening up a lot of women like my mother owned her own business um so it was she owned two businesses two different types of businesses so it was natural i never felt that as a woman i couldn't own a business yeah and, and my and my grandmother owned her own business so it was generations of women owning their own business <laughs> yeah and i come from generations of very strong women um so I know like I always admired my grandmother because uh, when I was young I looked up to her she was very tall like you look literally looked up to her she was her she was, <laughs> I think she was about six foot or five eleven anyway and mm. um, small I looked up to her and uh, in many ways but I always admired her because if something was wrong and she was in a room filled with men she would still stand her ground hold her ground and chastise them for saying the wrong thing do you know she yeah. she'd no fear in that sense um yeah so and then she always my grandmother lived with us um uh, in her later years and she always um so i grew up with her and um she always was a very strong woman and she she was very open-minded and she had a great sense of entrepreneurship and she would instill that in you as a woman she was very very powerful figure in her own right in our family you know and then my mother yeah. is a very strong woman and she had her own businesses and so it was, it was natural for me to do this it was never but that doesn't make it easy yeah. that doesn't make it easy no 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 um, but it's good to have influence mm. you know to know what can be done and i think it's great because i think the more women are doing who are doing it the more women who will do it i often find exactly. that you're in groups and you think women kind of downplay their their, their skill set where you can often yeah. see in um maybe exaggerate i would say the showboating it, yeah it, it can be a bit of that you know and um, whereas women don't tend to do that as as much so uh, and they could have great skill sets you know and i think as well i noticed different times you can have a situation where um women will work very very hard because i don't know if it's that they're trying to prove to themselves or prove to the world that you know they're equal and you know but i i think it's great that women work so hard because their their ingenuity their skill sets like women are so entrepreneurial and yeah add hard work to that and they can they can do anything you know so i love that about um I love that about um, women, you know, I love that about women in business. They're really great, great. you know. Yeah, they'll just do it. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you so much. I just wanted to see how you felt about it. Um, oh, I, I love it. I, just, um, I was just wondering, was it because of the, the boat, but it was the boat and everything else. So I'm everything. delighted that it's everything. We're celebrating everything today. And you're a fantastic everything. woman now. So what's your plan for your life? What are you going to... Um, well, I do. I don't think I want to own my own business, but I am kind of competitive. I want to be the best at what I do, whatever I end up doing. And I want to, I'm starting to now, it, it took me a while, especially like younger, 
just to voice myself more and to be heard and not be afraid that someone's going to think I'm like a B word just because I've spoken my mind and kind of stood my ground and I'm starting to do that more and more and just how that helps your mental health and everything as a girl to just not care anymore what someone thinks about you is so empowering and I think every girl should do it once in a while just stand your ground leave it there and you know that's what I'm trying to do more and more in my life and it, well, it is helpful it's good and I wish you the very best in it because it is a wonderful thing you're doing because I think when you stop caring about others in a sense like I'm not saying that you give up caring about others but when you stop caring about what others think of you you start living yeah. you know you it's, it's really a common thing in girls you want to be seen as nice you want to be seen to fit in but you don't have to be nice you don't have to take it if if it's not no, you don't have to just sit there and take it if you don't want to you can you always have your voice and so it's good to remember that as a girl you always have it you can use it you know well I'm good. looking forward it's to seeing you in the future I'm going to watch this space <laughs> the powerhouse yeah yeah well thank you so much <laughs>